National Football League. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. You can't ask for much more than his last game, a five-touchdown effort. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys on Monday night. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Prescott now. And that is incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him to put back into the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can explore. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. We talk so much about how coaches script things, especially on offense, to start a season, to start a game, whatever it is. Could they have scripted a better start in terms of playing? Offensive player of the week in the NFC, and his team won their season over. Absolutely perfect start to the year, but all the talk was, hey, that was week one. Now we got to move forward. Let's do it again in week two. That's what he's told his teammates. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Flushed out right. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, Charles, did it seem like to you that maybe they were a little worried about his running prowess there? Because everybody kind of froze when he got outside the pocket, and they were able to throw it for the first down. Absolutely, and you work all week getting ready for a game, and you know that the potential is there for him to run it, but you better take care of those receivers downfield. They can hurt you first. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, terrific last week in the season opening victory. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and 10, it's Hurts. That escapes the sack. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Got to give it points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Second down, here's Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, but now it'll be third down. You look at this Cowboy defense. This unit third best in the NFL in stopping the run. We know it's only week one, but the results are pretty good so far. The key is, can they do it week in and week out? Because right now, that's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a threat. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. That flag accepted, and it backs a little bit. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The rushing numbers for Pollard last week, pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. But that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're talking when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Here's Hardman to return. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That one complete. It's tanked down. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Great, great, great. Throwing his hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Call it a loss of five. A big sack to bring up third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that will be incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. Fielded at the 20. 
And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You look at this Eagle defense. They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass, number 12 in the league. And I think with as good as their coverage is, and they're also excellent tacklers, they try to keep things in front of them and either make the tackle or you have to run out of bounds because there's nowhere to go. They'll let him dink and dunk all day long. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little game. On third down, it's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down, as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. He got 29 yards that time. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Prescott, that's caught once again by Gallup. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Given back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. On second down, it's Pollard. And it will surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. throwing Prescott over the middle complete that's Ferguson and the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points and in a lot of ways that catch is expected red zone presence and that one was realized there you've got to find your tight end in that situation Pollard he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way a loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Did your high school have that same push them back, push them back cheer? I was a kicker. Well, it was certainly worked. Didn't matter whether we were kickers or not. That one worked, didn't it? They pushed him back at his last snap of the ball, and boy, they created a nice play for themselves. Did they lose three on that one? Yeah, from the one back to the four. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the win and think about it being for that territory. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. 
They begin the drive with Johnson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, six-round picks, they don't normally step in and start on day one, that's for sure. But over the years, we've had some big names from that spot. And obviously, Tom Brady, the biggest name of all, is a six-rounder. But there have been others. Antonio Brown, who's played some of the best receiver Alfred in the game. Alfred Morris. Alfred Morris. And I can tell you a quick one on Alfred Morris. When he came out of college and had the big rookie year, I went back to a lot of my scouting buddies and took my book with me and said, OK, what did you guys have him listed coming out of school? I didn't find anyone who had better than a six-round grade on him. Most had seventh round and a good number undrafted free agents. And you never know what you're going to get. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago, really it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. General manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body no, twisted no, no. so that he can't no. get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Hurts throwing complete to Smith. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Here's Hurts to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but... They're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls get to the goalposts. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is gonna change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. To throw is Prescott. Unfortunately, incomplete. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Hardman on the return. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. 
And last time, able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Goes right back to Smith again. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Play action. Here's Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. Inside the 15 before they drop it. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle, Johnson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So there the defense denies the rookie of his potential first career touchdown. And his first NFL touchdown celebration. I wonder if he's thought about it, if he has something cooked up in his head as he worked out with his team. And think about the celebration back home when he finally scores his first touchdown. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. We'll see what he does. Well said, sir. Well said. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And to find the open man. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Johnson looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Johnson again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. But he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, you know, if you've got the defense laying back, maybe that option works. But if you're coming hard on third down, it doesn't work because you force the hand of the quarterback in the run. And Garrett's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals, all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. The funding so far so good for him. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he still has 
has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Here's Pollard again. And it's a fumble. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've got the lead right now in this ball game, and they're on the heels of that nice win last week over the Packers. But first down, Hurts flush to his right. And then the inside the 25 now at the 24. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Looking here for Smith downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. There's a screen with Gainwell. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Gainwell is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Second down and goal. Hurts flushed out right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll look to throw on third and goal toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Out of his end zone, Prescott. That is caught, Schoonmaker. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down, Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And again, it's Prescott. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagle slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Play action now, Prescott. That is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another 
frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try and figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. They go play action with Hertz. Bearing it out deep for Smith. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this week two contest. So we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of quarter three. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Second down, here's Hurts. Fires the quick slant, A.J. Brown's got him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. Here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's game well. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are calm outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe on the trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. Rolling to his right. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. It's tough, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second and four. Well, straight ahead, it's game well. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the trial. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the end around, here comes Smith. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Hurt sets up to throw it. Out to the flat here for Johnson. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I'll tell you what, this offense has done a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possess the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. They'll look to run with Gainwell. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Game well again. And this time, he'll get in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, they've got a work close on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17 3. I want to drive in. Uh, 16 plays all told. And it was Kenneth Gainwell who finished it off with a touchdown run. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that can make this a three-possession game. Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and 10 right now. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. They'll get this up to about the 44. 
Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Holding offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Prescott. That'll be dumped off to Vaughn, complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. That's a defense you will bounce when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And it's taken in at the nine. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And Gallo going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this up to the 39. Here's Hurts to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll look to throw here. Quick slant to Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 23. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. And this drive continues to plunge forward. They run behind center with Gainwell. And able to work his way down to the 16. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Back to throw. The man has got it, the tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And now we're going to get a stoppage. Remember the Cowboys shaking up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. It's second and seven from the nine. Hurts shakes off the sack, escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts 
with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Eagles are on their way to a 2 0 start. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do this thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his load a rest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. Prescott to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now he's going to swing this. And he loses the football a second time. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright, and the lead will hold at three touchdowns. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. So the completion good for seven there at its second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. To throw is Prescott. Cooks flashing the footwork, shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks with career touchdown number 60. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that cuts the lead to 
The drive there only spanning three plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings us second and nine at the 19-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And, oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they'll stay on the ground with Gainwell again. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On second down, Gainwell looking for space. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this would have probably get away from them. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the eight-yard line. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. A first down throw for Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. 
It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. On first and 10, Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. And again, it's Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. A second down throw for Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And quickly, they get to the line. Prescott on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. From the red zone now, Prescott. Touchdown! Michael Gallup. 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have the full coverage. There he goes, right side. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A big play there for Philly. 56 yards. A real field flipper there as well. All of a sudden, they got a first down in the red zone. On the counter, it's Gamewell. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. <laughs> that's, that's what counts more. No Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. It's caught, Smith. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's Hurts to throw. And that'll be incomplete. He really took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. Hurts sets up to throw it. Flush to his right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. So, my goodness, I wouldn't have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field, with the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. Here comes second down at five. Now Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. 
Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. To throw, Prescott. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. If you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Now Prescott. That's complete to Lamb. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. Now Dak. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. This is first and ten. Here's Prescott. Looking middle and it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Prescott. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Well, this feels like a late season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a good third down. That's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Keely Ringo picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Bit a bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. Elliott Good with a PAT. Italy down to 14. following that pick six and now the kick is away and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback so Dak and the Cowboys down by two touchdowns a little under 40 seconds to go the turnover does give them life but they still need two scores here's Dak This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. A second down throw for Prescott. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it. The time's definitely running out. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will stop the clock here as he's out of bounds with the first down. And 24 seconds remaining. First down, Dallas. Looking to throw. Prescott. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Prescott yet again. And that's complete to Davis. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. 
Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the 30. What a way to wrap up the week. Now a big play. It's third down. One last shot now for Prescott. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 14 yard line. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things 